Okay, hi everyone. Welcome again to Specialized Automations. So today in this video, we'll be seeing how we can use the Hina class and Excel class in Selenium and Java. Okay. So before we started, first we let you know what is Hina class and Excel class in Java. So what is Excel class? So in Excel class is a simple static class that we can be used inside an outer class. Okay. So this class will be declared inside of another classes. And then what is inner classes? So it, this is the same nested class which is basically the non-static. Okay. So why we need it in Selenium or in Java? There are a couple of reasons we needed the nested class uh, in Selenium. The reasons basically for grouping application related properties in logical manner. So suppose your application has specific properties like uh, URL, uh, then a driver then uh, some different uh, credentials you need to provide at the time so you can either mention it in the property side or you can also mention this in a single class file inside the as a inner class or nested class okay so it's increasing the encapsulation obviously it will increase the game encapsulations we'll see it uh, soon and it makes the code more maintainable and reasonable okay so let's get uh, started okay so for my case uh, this is the configuration dot java this is the class i've taken okay and inside this class see we have we have four different classes public class the url static class browser static class d driver and static access access okay now suppose you are having some uh, oracle connection you are fetching data from the oracle or if you are performing some mobile automation so in that case uh, you need to provide this am driver ios driver location path and if you are fetching data from oracle so we need to provide the connection string access all these things okay so either you can provide all these things via the properties files so how you can access the properties files and utilize that in selenium or apm based project the link is given above or we have an option using this inner class or nested class concept in java so this is basically this will be the encapsulations we are using and all the related properties types will be grouping in a single file like configurations file okay now let me show you how we are using it so for this example like public class url that i've already told that is this is the inner class why because this is the non-static class and rest all the classes are static classes okay this is called nested classes that uh, access driver uh, static browser all these are static classes so see browser passing the name as a chrome uh, driver path i'm passing is from here chrome driver where my chrome driver located what is gecko driver located i driver located and what is the app url i'm using so all these things similarly for your application related properties the parameter you can uh, have in a single class file that will be very much helpful throughout your lifespan of the project so the test environment java that i've created this is comprising of comprises of uh, two classes before class and after class so in that case we can see uh, first we're setting the property web driver chrome dot driver here we are passing configurations driver dot com okay so for that we need to import the configuration classes so we have already imported the utility that configurations that we can see the so configurations driver dot chrome so configurations driver at chrome this is the path we are accessing so i have provided the path here then we are navigating to the configuration url dot app url so configurations dot url dot app url we are navigating to exactly so this is how the before class has been written it's a simple for just explanation purpose after class it simply are closing and quitting the browser and this is a simple test script that i have written okay this is one single uh, test skip so let me show you what does it contain so suppose uh, here i'm showing you how you can pass the uh, access key id and password uh, like for my cases i'm passing this configuration access that user id and configuration access or password it is i uh, make sure one thing like when you are using the nested class in a class all this uh, 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 variable declare inside this class will be public okay else you will you will not you will not be able to use it in a from other classes okay make make it public so this is how we can also pro provide the configuration that access user id configuration access password all these things let me quickly run it
so it's opening these pages maximize the wrong information provided and it will choose the browser okay so test run has been completed they successfully passed uh, the thing is that uh, also we have now uh, we have now got the idea how we can use this in our class concept uh, in our applications in selenium or if you are using apm make all the things all the variables that you are declaring inside this in our class discuss should be public okay and better to use it as final that is uh, um, that uh, cannot be overridden by any derived classes okay so that's all for today guys regarding the inner class concept and uh, national class concept in selenium java so if you have any more uh, questions to know please do let me know in the below comment sections and if you like this video please do not forget to support and subscribe this have a good day everyone bye bye